Looks like Draymond Green just can't help himself, but is always willing to take another shot at Jordan Poole. Guess what? Draymond also took a dig at Jordan recently. Want to know more? Well then stay tuned as we reveal the shocking details of the duo. When Draymond Green was probed by the reporters about the Golden State Warriors defeating the Sacramento Kings and the difference between this season and last season's chemistry, Draymond again took a dig at Jordan Poole. Last year we had an awful team as far as chemistry goes, Draymond said. It was hard to come to work, no fun. So this year, you see the joy on the guys' faces when they come into the building. You got guys staying over two or three hours just talking, getting to two or three hours early just to be here. You start to see that and you're like, okay, this is a group that likes to be together. Confused what Draymond is after all trying to say? Well, it is nothing but a shot at Jordan, considering he has been the headline name who's missing from last year's team. He was referring to the uncomfortable atmosphere that was created after his altercation with Jordan. Draymond seems to be totally highlighting the fact that last season's chemistry was not seen in Golden State because it was he himself who punched Jordan, who was his then teammate, yeah, and that too squarely in the face during practice sessions. The incident brought us back to the reality that we are indeed living in an unjust world as Draymond was provided with a $100 million contract to stay in the Golden State, and sadly, Jordan was transferred to the perennially depressing Washington Wizards. When Clay Thompson was asked about his opinion on the last season's chemistry, he said, I think every year is great. You're in the NBA and you get to put shots up and play defense for a living? I don't even pay too much mind to that. I think obviously chemistry is great this year, but every time I put a Warriors uniform on, I'm gloating. It's just a dream come true. No matter how many years you play in the NBA is a place where dreams are met. I think this year is great chemistry-wise, but last year was good as well. Every time you step into an NBA facility, you get to work. I feel great. I don't think too much about chemistry. I think winning solves all. For the unaware who really don't understand why Draymond doesn't really like Jordan, here is the backstory. During last season at practice, Jordan Poole told Draymond Green that he was Steph Curry's very expensive backpack. If you look from any context, it didn't really sit well with a future Hall of Famer to get such a neat comment from the Washington Wizards point guard just in order to get decked. Perceiving it as the most outrageous insult ever, Draymond Green held on to the grudge, and obviously, back then, the Warriors team was affected. The team's chemistry was at an all-time low, especially right after winning a championship. The Warriors looked stronger, considering Chris Paul was shipped to Golden State, and Draymond went to Washington Wizards. Considering Draymond doesn't have to worry about Jordan anymore, he can help the Warriors fight for more awards and titles in the years to come. On the other hand, Jordan unfortunately went through several turnovers and bloopers on the court that reflected his struggle with the Washington Wizards and getting a good place on his new team. It looks like Draymond won't forget the past so soon and will hold his grudge against Jordan in years to come. In order to reduce the growing feud between Draymond and Jordan, Warriors head coach Steve Kerr tried to get both the NBA players together. Kerr wanted Draymond and Jordan to mend fences after the veteran forward punched the young guard in the face. However, Draymond didn't agree with the idea, according to a new report on The Ringer published recently. Reporter Loden Murdoch had this fact in the fifth paragraph of his profile on the new Wizards guard, which contains other tidbits about how Jordan's camp was disappointed with how the Dubs and Draymond managed the preseason incident. According to Warriors official, head coach Steve Kerr made several attempts to convince Green to take Poole to dinner to smooth over their relationship, but Green declined. Murdoch said, Those around the situation now believe the lack of disciplinary action, other than an undisclosed fine, and the inability of anyone on the Warriors to repair the fractured relationship soured the team's season. He also arrived at the conclusion that many others came to after the season ended. The punch, along with the subsequent lack of punishment toward Draymond, threw everything out of whack for the Golden State in the last season. It is now a known fact that the fallout between the players led to Jordan getting sent east in exchange for Chris Paul. However, the dubs decided to stick with Draymond rather than keeping a 24-year-old player. Jordan 2's playoff challenges are quite evident considering the last season's failed championship campaign. However, till Murdoch's recent revelation, it was found that the Dubs only levied a relatively meager fine and hoped that it would send out a message. But it was still unclear why Draymond didn't want to participate in the peace dinner. In fact, Draymond said in his own podcast, making a shocking claim that Jordan said, stuff that you don't say amongst men, without giving any proper specifications. Once Draymond did not want to make any attempts to fix his relationship with Jordan, 
It made the young player feel more lonely and depressed. No wonder it has affected his mind so much that he has started making errors on the court as a result. Poole became isolated, left to balance his personal goals with the teams, widening the chasm between the Warriors' core and the young prospects tasked with prolonging the dynasty, Murdoch said. Poole's determination to prove he was worthy of carrying the torch led to on-court mistakes that left teammates and coaches befuddled. However, the profile reveals that Jordan wants to forget the past and move on from all this. The story starts with Jordan not answering a question about Draymond and saying to Murdoch, you know, I wasn't going to answer nothing along those lines of that. What he intends to say is that he was looking forward to being the God-fearing face of the Wizards franchise this season. He also noted how he has worked out with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in August for one last hurrah. Murdoch also spoke to former warrior Kevin Durant, who said Jordan has reached out to him over the years asking for NBA advice, despite the fact that the two never overlapped in the Bay Area. We can understand from the entire story of Draymond Green vs. Jordan Poole beef that there has been no proper resolution between the star players. Something is surely off between both of them till now, and even one of the best mediators has not been able to get them together for a peaceful dinner. Steph Curry has also told The Ringer about their possible attempt to fix things between Jordan and Draymond. There's always that hope, but it's two grown men that can figure that out. They know where we stand on it and how I see both of them individually. So I will facilitate something? Probably not. But I definitely hope there can be some kind of maybe meeting each other where they're at. Because life is short. It is indeed true that life is really short. However, more than life, NBA careers are quite short. Keeping that in mind, Jordan's method of moving on from the past incident with Draymond is probably the best plan of action. No doubt that the entire Jordan Poole and Draymond Green relationship timeline is quite an unfortunate one. Also, there is no denying the fact that the Warriors have gone from a championship team with Jordan Poole to a quickly dysfunctional one that couldn't have a winning streak on the road. However, this can serve as a learning lesson for Draymond and Jordan in the near future to let bygones be bygones and never hold grudges in order to have a successful career. Let's take a glance at Draymond Jamal Green's details. Born on 4th March 1990, Draymond is an American professional basketball player for the Golden State Warriors of the NBA. He has been a four-time NBA champion, a four-time NBA All-Star, a two-time member of the All-NBA team, and a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Draymond is considered to be one of the amazing defensive players in the league, making him win several awards. On the other hand, Jordan Anthony Poole was born on 19th June 1999. He is an American professional basketball player for the Washington Wizards of the NBA. He started his career by participating in college basketball and then became a member of the Michigan Wolverines for the 2017-18 team that won the 2018 Big Ten Tournament and also made him attain the season's national championship game. He has attained the nickname of Pool Party. Do you think Draymond and Jordan should simply avoid talking about each other in the press? Share your views in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching our interesting video on the fiasco between Draymond and Jordan, then click on like and subscribe to our channel.